Hi, I'm Chris from Oxford in the United Kingdom. I've been in Hangzhou for about three years teaching economics. Right now, I'm still at the Westlake. Three Pools Mirroring the Moon is one of the ten scenic spots of Westlake and is often mentioned as the best. However, the scene people see today is quite different from the initial one. The Three Pools actually refer to the water area around the Three Stone Pagodas. The Stone Pagodas were built in the year 1089 when the great poet Su Shi was mayor in Hangzhou. He found that Westlake suffered from silt blockage and appointed 200,000 people to clean the silt, dredging the Westlake. At the same time, he measured the three deepest points in the lake, had one stone pagoda built at each point, and enclosed a water area where planting is prohibited. This was the earliest version of three pools. The three stone pagodas were of the shape of treasure guards, sharp pointing at the top, and their middle round and hollow. At the night of mid-autumn festival, a lit candle would be placed in each hollow of each pagoda. When the candlelight fulfilled the round hole, it enjoyed a distant view like a moon. Five moons could be seen from different directions of one pagoda, hence a total of 15 moons were reflected in the water. No, there was one more moon reflection in the lake. The moonlight, candlelight and reflected light in the water mirrored each other and people came to the spot to enjoy the scenery in boats. This is why it was named Three Pools Mirroring the Moon. The stone pagodas were, however, destroyed during the Ming Dynasty, leaving only the bases. When it came to the early years of the Qing Dynasty, zigzags were built from north to south in this water area, and willow alongside causeway from east to west. Pavilions, terraces and towers were constructed, and the island covered an area of more than 70,000 square metres by then. It became a water garden where there was an island in the lake, and a lake in the island, representing classic styles of South China. The emperor at that time, Kang Shi, came to visit the scenic spot out of admiration for its reputation and decided to restore three pools mirroring the moon. By the way, there are now three islands in Westlake. They are located respectively in three directions, symbolizing the places where three gods live. Because of the beautiful scenery of the three pools mirroring the moon, Chinese government puts its image on paper notes. Firstly, the one RMB foreign exchange voucher in the late 1970s, the emerald green three pools mirroring the moon image, was right on the front side. After that, the fifth set of RMB one yuan banknotes also adopted the same pattern. As a result, the reputation and popularity of this spot has been widely gained. In 1977, the West Lake was frozen because of the cold weather, and citizens could directly walk to the three pools on the ice surface, and the spot suffered an accident in recent years. Late at night, July 29th, 2013, the local police received a report that a cruise boat hit and broke one of the pagodas. This accident aroused the attention of the whole city. Experts then learned the pagoda is not an entire whole piece, but made up of layers of movable parts, with bayonets staggered between each layer to strengthen tenant joint. So after the cruise boat collision, the structure of the stone pagoda was loosened. Luckily, because the two steel guardrails outside played a certain buffer role, each layer of the structure, the main body did not seem to be damaged, so the pagoda was quickly restored rather than reconstructed, without using extra binding material. In 2013, the spot was designated as a National Cultural Preservation Unit by the State Administration of Cultural Heritage. The central oasis of the Three Pools Mirroring the Moon is mainly composed of white walls, windows, bamboo paths, etc. The white walls are of different views from inside and outside, surrounded by green plants. Having a glance of surroundings, the water is green, the trees are green, and the eaves of the pavilion are also painted green. The square pavilion with red pillars and black tiles is located in the middle of the zigzag, and the stone tablet with writings of the Emperor Kangxi stands in it. The surrounding oasis is full of beautiful flowers, and the pond is full of various water lilies and lotus flowers, and the many green bamboos on both sides are fascinating as well. At the end of the zigzag, there stands a pavilion, the name of which means, needless to say, we are of mutual understanding and heart. I think that this is the best place to enjoy the view of the three pools. Because it's a pavilion with very limited space, and light suddenly pours in when stepping out of the corridor of it. A broad area is then in the horizon. It's better if there's a one yuan note at hand, so we can look at its backside and match it exactly with the image in front of us and a popular building has been recently established by the Qiantang River in Hangzhou. That is a hollow building. The top of it is jointly connected by two buildings, which are of different shapes at the bottom parts. The inspiration of this building, Hangzhou Seal, came right from the three pools mirroring the moon. Hangzhou